Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will learn to install Red Hat Development Studio. First thing first, you need access to developers.redhat.com. So go to this website, register yourself and log in, and then you'll see your registered name here. Now then get to the downloads. You'll find Red Hat Development Suite. This is what we want to download. So click on the download link and it should start downloading. Now this page also provides you instructions to install after the download is complete. You can follow the instructions and I'll be showing you how to do that in this video as well. Let's wait for the download to complete. Once the download is complete, you'll see in the downloads folder an installer called Red Hat Development Suite Installer. In my case, since it's a Mac, it's a Mac based installer. And if you are using Windows, you will have a .exe file for the installation. Click on this and start the installation. When you start the installer, it shows up this page where you need to log in using your developers.redhat.com credentials. It will ask you to select an installation folder. I leave it at default. Now it's installing a few components here. First one is the JBoss Developer Studio. This one is uh, the IDE based on Eclipse. It includes Eclipse as well as the JBoss Developer's tools that are needed to interact with OpenShift. The installer can also install OpenJDK 1.8. In my case, it's already available, so it's not going to install anything. The next one is Red Hat Container Development Kit. This is the CDK. This is based on Minishift. If you watched my last video, you would have seen how Container Development Kit works. Another tool that gets installed is Compose. This is used. This is a tool that's used to translate Docker composed files to be used with Kubernetes or OpenShift. So I'll leave all these as defaults and click on Download and Install. Now it's it's installing all these three tools. We'll give it a couple of minutes for the installation to complete and come back. The installation is now complete. Let's say open Red Hat JBoss Developer Studio. It's starting up JBDS. In the meanwhile, let's look at the folder structure. If I look at my applications, there is a J development suite here. This includes CDK, Developer Studio, and Compose, all the three components. It shows up a window to select the workspace. I'll leave it as default. Now JBoss Developer Studio is starting up. Yes, here. You'll see that there is a container development environments connector added to the servers here. It currently shows stopped and synchronized. Let's start it. And it opens a window here. You can now see that JBoss Developer Studio is starting a local OpenShift cluster using VirtualBox as the hypervisor. The VM that CDK has created is getting registered as using the subscription manager. It's downloading the images for OpenShift now. You can see that these images are coming from registry.access.redhat.com. This is done for the first time. After that, if you start, stop and start, the images don't have to be downloaded again, unless you delete the mini shift instance or CDK instance that's starting. It finds an IP address to start the cluster at. So the cluster is going to use this 192, 168, 99, and 100 as the IP address. So this is the URL for our OpenShift master. You'll also get a username and password to log in as a developer. You have a user ID as well as you can log in as an admin to this local OpenShift using this command. CDK also spins up a few persistent volumes just in case you want to try with some applications that require persistent storage. CDK also applies mini shift add-ons for technologies like JBoss EAP, Fuse and others. Now you can see that the container development environment is started and synchronized. If you go back to the browser and access this URL, you'll see that OpenShift Container Platform is running on your machine now. You can log in using the username and password that is provided by CDK, which is developer developer. And there is also a default project available here where you can deploy applications to. In the next video, we'll learn how to use IDE to make application development and uh, deploy those applications to this local OpenShift cluster running as CDK on this box. Thanks for watching.